It's day 14 and I'm happy you've decided to stick around. Stay with me for six more days and you'll learn a half dozen more phrasal verbs. I said, I'm happy you've decided to stick around. What does this phrasal verb mean? A. Stay for a period of time. B. Memorize information. C. Ask questions. The answer is A. Stick around means to stay for a while, often with the expectation that something will happen. Here are some examples. The concert ended, but we stuck around with the hope that we'd get to see the band when they left. I don't think my drawing will win, but I still want to stick around to hear them announce the winner. Stick around is intransitive. It does not take an object. When friends are in trouble, do you stick around to help or find excuses not to? Let's review the definition of our new phrasal verb and two old ones as well. Let in on. Do you remember what that means? To share a secret or allow someone to participate in something not everyone can. Sink in. To gradually be understood. Stick around. To stay for a while, often with the expectation that something will happen. Do you remember the forms? Let someone in on something. So it's transitive and takes two objects. Sink in and stick around. These both are intransitive. They don't have objects. All right, now let's put these three phrasal verbs into use. Fill in the missing phrasal verbs. I'll give you a moment to complete the text. Answer. Tony announced he was leaving the university. As the news sank in, his parents experienced both shock and disappointment. Tony was mature enough to stick around and let them express their anger. He patiently waited for them to become calm again. When they were ready to hear more, he let them in on his plans to join his cousin's business and attend night school.